Kualio. channel if you're new welcome I'm more than happy to have you my name is Reese and today I'm going to be doing a quick and easy DIY for you guys and this DIY will be on last minute Halloween ears so at work me and my co-workers are dressing up as Disney characters and I decided to be Minnie Mouse so instead of going out and buying some Minnie Mouse ears, I decided to make some of my own. I also thought that it would be cool to make a couple other ears as well so that you guys can have options for what kind of ears that you want to make. Now I will definitely be sure to leave a list of items that I use down below. They're all super cheap, inexpensive. You can get them from like Michaels, Joanne, the dollar store, things like that. So yeah, and what I love most about this DIY is that your ears are completely customizable to you. So you can buy whatever supplies you want, whatever kind of fabric, you know, and just make it you. So you don't have to worry about having the same ears as anyone else. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the description box. And if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so that you can get notified when I upload a new video. Let's go ahead and get started with the video all right guys so to start you're gonna take your first fabric and this is for my mouse ears and I'm going to place right sides together or inside out um, then I'm gonna take this candle top from Bath and Body Works and just go ahead and trace a circle around onto the fabric and I'm gonna do that two times because I need two ears now I am taking the wire that I got and I'm just creating a little spiral circle on the end of the wire and I do get a better clip of this later on so after I have my little circle on the end I'm going to just wrap the wire around that same candle top so that I can get the proper size of my ears and so then I'm gonna go ahead and clip it make sure you leave a little bit extra because you're going to need to do this which is wrap the wire around the bottom of the other side so that it stays in place and once you're done with that you're just going to do it again now we're going to move this to the side and go to the cat ears so as you see here i already bent one of the ears into place and i'm just going to bend it down to make it equal to the side and I'm going to go ahead and create my next ear, making it as even as possible to the one that I already made. And once I have the proper shape or a shape that I like, I'm just going to clip the end. And that's it for the cat ears. Now, for the bunny ears, I'm going to take the remainder of wire and clip it in half. So now I have two equal pieces. And I'm going to fold that in half as well and this will create a nice point at the top for my bunny ear now what i like to do is take my thumb and just run it down the side of the wire to create a nice curve and then i am going to create that same spiral on the end so you can see i just start by kind of bending it up and now i'm just creating a circle around it and now i'm folding it up so that it's flat and the next step is to take the end of the wire and wrap it around the opposite side the same way you did with the mouse ear so that it stays in place then clip off the extra and then you're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing to the other wire so here are all three ears finished and ready for fabric so now I'm going back to that black fabric that I traced at the beginning and I'm going to backstitch, sew around, and backstitch again. You want to be sure to leave about this much open so that you can flip it right side out and put the wire inside. So here you see me just flipping the fabric 
right side out and the next thing I'm gonna do is that little loop that I twisted around at the end I'm just pushing it up the wire and this is gonna make the circle smaller so that it can fit inside of the fabric once it's in there you can go ahead and pull it back down to the base that little circle that you created at the beginning and push the fabric around the wires easy as that it's as easy as that so I'm gonna do the exact same thing again to the other piece of fabric I'm pretty sure that the mouse ears were like the easiest so once again just slide that little loop up the wire put it inside of your fabric and then you're gonna pull that loop back down the wire and this is opening the circle up again so essentially you're making the circle smaller and now you're opening it up again and then just slide it into the fabric and just create your circle again if it gets a little bit deformed but for the most part you should be good to go and so there are your mouse ears all fabric coated so now I'm just gonna take some ribbon that I got from Joanne and create a bow and as you can see here when I'm done with the ribbon the bow shows polka dots on all sides aside from this little leg on the right side of the camera and to fix that I'm literally just gonna hold it in the middle and flip it over and then I'm gonna pull it nice and tight so that it stays that way so I also wanted to cut a little detail into the end so I just folded it in half and then cut a little triangle out of the fabric so I'm gonna do that to both sides and when you're done it'll look like this and now you're gonna go ahead and start gluing the ears to a headband so just take hot glue please be very careful because I definitely burnt myself and you're gonna place it wherever you think it looks nice and hold it there then you're gonna take more glue and just literally drench it in glue and cover it so it's nice and secure hold it up um, hold it upright like that so that you don't have any problems with it shifting and when it's dry you can go ahead and add a little bit of feather around the bottom so you can't see the glue and then you're gonna add your bow place it wherever you like and you're good to go so moving on to the cat ears you're gonna take the wire that you already bent and you're gonna take a marker and just trace around the perimeter of the cat ears and also like I said before be sure to trace on the wrong side of the fabric and now I'm just gonna go ahead and take this to my sewing machine and sew right along that line and when you're done it'll look like this so you can go ahead and flip it right side out and I'm just gonna poke the pointy parts <laughs> of the cat ears with scissors so that they're nice and pointy and not so rounded and it's gonna look like this and now you're just gonna stick your cat wire ears <laughs> inside of the fabric and you're gonna want to make sure you push this little uh, middle part up to the seam and then you're gonna sew a straight stitch across that so that it holds it in place now what I'm gonna do is just shape the cat ears to the headband and fold the bottom of the fabric back because that is what we are going to glue onto the headband so I started off by just gluing half of it and I'm just gonna place it right on the glue as you can see I am literally just gluing the folded fabric onto the headband once you're done with that you can just measure out some fur and get your hot glue gun once again being very careful because it is very very hot and once you're done putting your hot glue you can go ahead and place the piece of feather on top that you cut out first do it gently and then you can go ahead and press a little bit more firmly so that it stays in place and these are the cat ears so now moving on to the last set of ears which are our bunny ears once again place your fabric right sides together and then you're gonna go ahead and trace both of your bunny ears and once you're done tracing, you're going to take it to your sewing machine and sew on the lines. And these lines do not have to be perfect. So after you're done sewing, you can cut it out. And then we're going to flip this fabric right side out as well. And all you have to do is push and pull, push and pull. So once you have your fabric right side out, 
what you are going to do is take your bunny ear and you're going to have to squeeze it a little bit so that it can fit in the little hole that we left open at the bottom and once it is in there you're going to want to find the side seam that you sewed and basically push that up right against the side of the wire you're going to do that to both sides and then you're going to pull apart and that is going to help spread your bunny ear right back out and you just have to play with it this was probably the most difficult one but just play with it and you'll get it stretched out nicely and this is how they look so to add the fur to the side of the bunny ears you're just gonna add a little bit of hot glue and then place your feather down Add a little bit of hot glue place your feather down and just repeat that process all the way around the ear and when you're done with that you're just gonna glue the ears onto the headband the same exact way that you did the mouse ear and I wanted to give this a little bit of spunk so I did bend one ear forward and you're done with the bunny ears.